Good afternoon, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. You know what I just noticed? <laughs> My cat Q-tip was inside the dresser. So I find like with making videos or anything around my house, I either have kids or animals um, always interrupting me. So we're just gonna go with it. Um, <laughs> Biscuit's gonna be staying with us, aren't you buddy? Okay. So today I'm gonna show you how I apply clear wax to a piece of furniture and buff it off. So it's a little like a Karate Kid. We're gonna wax on and buff off, okay? So the uh, supplies that you'll need um, in order to do this process. Um, is um, you're gonna start with your Annie Salone clear wax this is the product I use I love it I've been using it for about five years now if that says anything um, a container like this usually costs me around $30 and it lasts me anywhere between six to eight months so I think that's pretty reasonable um, you'll also need um, a clean paper plate and I call this the magic piece to me buffing the wax off. Uh, years prior, I used to find this process very, very frustrating. I couldn't find, I guess, the right sheen. I was not getting enough wax off. Um, it was blotchy in spots. So I was very frustrated for a while there. And I found the solution to that. And that is these blue foam buffers you can find them in the sanding section and, and at any home improvement store um, they come in a package with another one but this one's a little furry um, I don't really use that one that much um, I use the foam one and um, and this is what I use to buff the wax off I know some people in other tutorials they'll use a clean rag I've seen people use paper towels I've seen people use cheesecloth um, I've e even seen people um, attach a buffer to their drill. Um, I've done that as well, and I find that's too harsh. Uh, so this to me has been the magic solution, is this little guy here. So I'll show you how I use him. So we're gonna get started. Um, the first piece of advice I have for you after you've done, after you're done painting your piece, if you've distressed it, just go over it with a brush or a clean brush and make sure you just have all you know, dust and residue off before, before you start waxing. And so what I do is, I'm gonna take a little bit of wax. This is what it looks like when you open up the container. It's got a little bit of a smell to it. So I take a paint stirring stick and I just take a little bit out that I wanna use and I put it on the clean paper plate. And why I do this you don't wanna be dipping your brush into that container. As much as you think that your piece of furniture is clean, you're gonna get remnants of dust, maybe even a little bit of the paint color coming off on the brush. And if you're um, waxing a piece that's say a teal color, the last thing you wanna do is have that paint color bleed into your nice clean container of clear wax. So please use a paper plate um, and then my advice is to seal that up as soon as you're done getting a chunk of it out And you can see I have it here on my paper plate. Hopefully you can see it. There you go And so I take my uh, waxing brush. This is um, a round brush. The diameter I believe is an inch and a half I like to use anywhere between an inch and a half or a two inch um, diameter brush when I wax um, And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in a circular motion and I'm gonna get, see, see how that, I have the wax right there on the tip of the brush? I wanna actually work that in a little more to the brush. As you can see, I'm doing a circular motion and it almost disappears in the brush. It's kind of like concealer when you put it on, if you've ever, with makeup, your powder makeup, you kind of want it to disappear in the tip of your brush. You can see it a little bit. And then I like to work in small sections. So that's another important point with waxing pieces. You want to work in small sections and then you want to buff it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the frame of my dresser and go all the way around and then I'm going to buff it off. So I'm going to start over here and I'm just going to, it's kind of like painting it. You can be a little aggressive with when you put it on and then you'll notice if you have distressed your piece, um, you'll notice that the distressed parts will get a little bit darker. And the same thing with if you have a colored piece, 
of furniture, if it's yellow, um, if it's a blue color, when you apply that clear wax, you'll notice your color of your um, piece of furniture is gonna darken just a little bit. How this helps you when you're applying wax is that you'll be able to noticeably see, ah, that's where I applied it, that's where I did it, oh, I missed a spot over there. So it helps you visually see where you've missed some spots. Again, I'm working that wax into my brush and I'm just gonna go around the frame of this dresser. When you have grooves, here's another helpful hint. On this dresser, I have some grooves here. I don't wanna take a whole bunch of wax and put it right on there. You're gonna get the wax caught in the grooves and that is a pain in the butt to get out, trust me. So, the less wax on your brush, the better when you wanna go around the groove parts or any ornate parts on your dresser. You see, I can see that wax has already darkened that pretty ornate flower at the bottom. I love that. So you wanna go around the whole frame like I'm doing here. Sorry, Biscuit. We're gonna move your bed, buddy, over a little bit. And now I'm coming up to that ornate piece on the bottom of my dresser. Again, I don't want my, back, my brush loaded with a ton of wax or it's gonna get stuck in those crevices. So I'm gonna load my brush up now because I'm coming up to a flat spot on my dresser. I like to work in either back and forth motions with my brush or I like to work in circular motions. There we go. And what I got left on this section is just this middle part. Once I'm done here, I'm gonna buff the wax off. Again, you wanna work in small sections when you're waxing and buffing. Okay, so I've just gone all around the frame part here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my buffer. Like I said, you can get these in the sanding department in any home improvement store. And I kinda, I put it around my four fingers and I'm just buffing that wax off. And what I like about this little doohickey is it goes really fast and I find that I can wipe the wax off in a really nice clean motion. Where before when I used to use rags, I just found it was blotchy. And this just gives me a nice uniform wipe. And I can already see the wax, when it comes off, it gives this really pretty sheen to it. You're probably not gonna be able to see it on the camera, but when you buff it off, it just gets really beautiful. You get this little gloss to it. You can also feel it. When you're buffing it off, if you come to a rough spot, you can tell you have too much wax on, and you just keep buffing until it just slides really smoothly. And here I am coming across that ornate part. Now, how many coats of wax do you apply? When I go across like my frame part of my dresser, I usually only apply one coat. But when I'm applying wax to the top of a dresser that's been painted, or the sides, I usually hit it with the wax two times. That way I know I'm getting ample coverage over it and if I've missed any spots, I know they're clearly getting covered on that second coat. So what types of furniture do you apply wax to? That's another question I get a lot. Um, I apply it to coffee tables, dressers, frames around mirrors. Um, the only thing that I don't apply wax to, when I sand a piece and I stain it on top where there's natural wood, I always apply a polyurethane. Um, I probably wouldn't apply it to a dining room tabletop. That's just me. Any piece that gets a lot of wear and tear, I usually will do a polyurethane instead of the clear wax. That's not to say that wax isn't durable. It sure is. Um, but I just find for me, high traffic pieces of furniture, I'd rather put a coat of poly on, like a dining room table, or anything that I've sanded and stained. Okay, so that whole frame area is done. looking really good and I'm going over it again with my buffer here just to make sure 
I didn't miss any spots, and how I'll know is I can see it, but I also can feel it. I'm telling you, this little guy here, if you wax furniture, you need to get one of these. This has just been the saving grace for me. Just makes me work a lot faster, more efficiently, and I feel like my wax gets smoothed out a lot better than before. So I hope you enjoyed this segment of me showing how I apply clear wax and I buff it off. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you.